Greetings, welcome back to Friday 13th for YouTube channel. Today we've got a fantastic album review for you. This is a band called The Withered Scorn. We're releasing their debut album on the 7th of July on Frontier Records. It's called Prophets of Demise. It's a fantastic progressive power thrash album. Check out what's in the lineup, folks. It's got some great interesting musicians. So you're probably asking now, who are the musicians for this new album, this new band? It's Sean and Glenn Drover, formerly both with Megadeth. Fantastic musicians. Now, Sean's also had a band called Up to Defiance, who released a couple of albums on Metal Blur Records. Whereas Glenn Drover, a fantastic, awesome guitarist, was once with King Diamond, has also played live with Testament and also with Jeff Tate. He's done fantastic albums in the past. He's also had a band with his brother back in the day called Eidolon. You maybe know those guys. If you don't know them, I'm going to tell you a little bit about those guys before we talk about this new album. Now, this band also features Joe Bassey, who used to be with Fate's Warning, a fantastic bass player, the original bass player. And we also have German vocalist Hanin Bass, once with Metallium and Firewind. So it's an all-classic lineup for this great new debut album. Fantastic all-around album. So I'm going to talk about this album very shortly. Now we're going to talk about Eidolon. Now, Eidolon were briefly put back together, reformed in 1993 by the brothers Sean and Glenn, as we all know, Canadian-based power metal band. They did some fantastic albums. The band would also feature on the very last album of Eidolon, uh, Nils from the band Pagan's Mind. The album was called A Parallel Otherworld. Fantastic album. In total, Eidolon have done seven albums. And the band's debut album was called Zero Hour, released in 1996. Now, this was a self-finance release, and I'm pretty sure it got reissued in later years. Brilliant album. I own this album. I think it's a fucking fantastic album. The band went on and did the second album called Seven Spirits, another fantastic album. Then for the third album, the band signed to Metal Blade Records, releasing the album Nightmare World. Great album. You may own some of these albums, but I alone were a fantastic band. Now... Glenn has also done some instrumental albums, really, really good albums, fantastic playing, not as heavy as he would do with Eidolon or King Diamond, as you can imagine. This was more in fact, sounded more like Tony McAlpine, Joe Satriani and, Joe, and Steve Vai, fantastic musicians. So if you want to hear something that's melodic and a lot of beautiful instrumental parts, check out Glenn's solo albums. Now, after the departure of Glenn and Sean leaving Megadeth, they uh, went separate ways and did their own little things. But now, in 2020, the band formed Withering Scorn, the two brothers, which is a fantastic debut album. It contains eight songs and it lasts 40 minutes. It's a really heavy, parts, melodic, slap-in-the-face, power thrash metal album with progressive parts. Like you said, you've got, Millish, you've got the bass player from uh, former Fate's Warning, Joey on bass. He's a fantastic bass player. Now, I wouldn't say this album has hints of Fate's Warning, sadly, but Joe is a brilliant bass player and he fits in really well. As for vocalist Hannin, a fantastic, powerful singer, as we all know. His former bands, Metallion, were fantastic. They were some really good albums. And his work with Firewind was also amazing stuff. So if you like Metallium, Firewind, you've really got to hear this band. Now, I'm going to have to say, I think this album does sound a little bit like Eidolon. Nothing wrong with that. This could have been the next Eidolon album. But it's the turn of Glenn's guitars and Sean's playing. I guess that makes it sound like Eidolon. Nothing wrong with that. Brilliant band, like I said. But if I have to compare this album to some other artists, I would say Nevermore, Testament, King Diamond, Judas Priest, and a little bit of Saxon in there as well. So I'm going to tell you the titles for this album. We open up with Prophets of Demise, title track. We have The Vision, Pick Up the Pieces, Ancient Desires, Dark Reflections, Dethroned, Never Again, and the last song, Eternal Screams. That's the titles for the album. So I'm going to talk to you now about the songs on the album briefly so you get an idea of the album. Now, the opening track is the title track of the album. It opens up with uh, Glenn's guitar in doing like an instrumental acoustic part, which electronic part that goes into the song. It's a really well thought out song. Some brilliant vocals by Han in here. The rhythm section by Joe and Sean are fantastic, and guitaring by Glenn is phenomenal. As we all know, he's a certainly underrated guitarist. Kind of reminds me of Andy LaRock and Pete Black from King Diamond. Maybe a bit of Night, uh, Mike Weed as well. Now, this song reminds me of Eidolon. It also reminds me of Nevermore. So if you like the Eidolon and you like Nevermore's vibe, you're really going to like this song. The title track, Prophets of Demise, is a fantastic opening song. And it's a right slap in the face. Brilliant opening song. Check it out, folks. Next song is called A Vision. This is a real slap in the face song as well. It starts off with Sean's drumming, but it soon builds up into a melodic, powerful, heavy song. Henning's vocals are fantastic, very strong, 
guitar playing is phenomenal, fantastic, beautiful arrangements, and the rhythm section is fantastic. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Judas Priest somewhat, but it also reminds me of Eidolon. This song also reminds me of Metallium, like I said, Henning's old band. It's got that vibe of German feel to it, power metal, mixed with Canadian power metal. So check it out. It's called The Vision. Now, the next song is called Pick Up The Pieces. This is one of my favourite songs on the album. It's very technical. It kind of reminds me of King Diamond, Nevermore and Death, with some melodic vocals, of course. Really well arranged song, really powerful, technical. So if you like your technical metal or progressive metal, whatever you want to call it, this is a fantastic song. It's definitely one of the best songs of the album for me. It's called Picking Up The Pieces. Now, the next song is called Ancient Desires. This kind of reminds me of the eeriness of King Diamond. It's a really, really good song. It's powerful. There's some beautiful guitar playing here. Like I said, Glenn does sound like Andy LaRock a lot. Nothing wrong with that. Andy LaRock is a fantastic guitarist and one of my favourites. So I have respect for Glenn trying to have that same sound as Andy LaRock does. But it's a brilliant song. And if you like your King Diamond with powerful power metal vocals, this is a really good song. It's called Ancient Desires. Now, the next song, Dark Reflections, has the Eidolon, Nevermore and Testament vibe. I guess you could say it could have a little hint of early forbidden. Now, the next song, Ele um, Dethrone, kind of reminds me of uh, Elegant Weapons, Judas Priest and Saxon. It's more of a traditional sound, but it's still power, power metal. I guess you could say it has a little vibe of um, Primal Fear as well, but it's a brilliant song and it's called Dethrone. Now, Sean's drumming on this all, on this song kind of reminds me of Mickey D when he was in Motorhead when they did the song Sacrifice. Very technical drumming, brilliant drumming all around. Now, the next song, Never Again, this reminds me of the second Eidolon album, Seven Spirits. If you've got the Seven Spirits album, you're going to know exactly what you're going to hear on here. It's a really good song. It's very Celtic in places, but it's very melodic, and it's still a very powerful song. It's called Never Again. Now, the last song is called Eternal Screams. This is a semi-ballad. Some really nice acoustic guitar at the beginning, electrically acoustic, but it comes out really, really good. There's some fantastic vocals by Henning. It does pick up towards the end with a section of it being heavy, slap in the face. But towards the end of the song, it does mellow out again. But it's a brilliant song. I guess you could say there's a little vibe of Fate's Warning here. Not much, but it's a really, really good song. Now, all in all, this is a brilliant debut album for Withered Scorn. Like I said, if you're a fan of Nevermore, Testament, Metallium, and also King Diamond and Eidolon, this is a brilliant album for you. It's called The album's called Prophets of Demise. It's released on the 7th of July. 2023 on Frontiers. I'm going to give this album four and a half out of five. Really looking forward to see what they do with the next album. Metalheads, if you want to hear a slap in the face metal album, this is the one. Check it out. Let me know with some comments. Thanks for watching. Be safe, Metalheads.